Hello everybody. Today is the 8th of March. It's a Sunday and it is officially four days until I fly overseas. <laughs> In this video, I just wanted to take you along with me and show you how I'm basically going to be planning and prepping for my trip. And yeah, I thought you could just get ready to fly with me. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I need to get done before I actually fly and um, I literally only have this weekend to sort it all out. I have varsity from Monday up until the day that I am flying so I won't have any time to pack in between those days so I have to prep. So I essentially have to act as though I'm flying tonight because once I'm done at varsity on Thursday I I have to drive all the way back home. I literally just have time to take my bags and go to the airport. So just to make things a little bit easier for myself, I made a to-do list just so I could track exactly what I need to get done and when I need to do it. Otherwise, you know, when you're traveling, you just, you forget everything. So I really wanted to go to the shops just to do any last minute shopping. So I went to Mall of Africa just to look for any warm clothes, jerseys, because like I said, where I'm going is very cold. I needed to start planning exactly what I was going to wear on the trip so I wanted to do some outfit planning. This helps save so much space and time for when you go overseas because if you just plan your outfits before you go, even if you just plan what items you can wear with what or what you can mix and match, it will honestly just help save so much time. Then once I've decided and planned out exactly what outfits I'm going to take, I wanted to do some laundry and just make sure everything was clean and fresh for when I go overseas. again I am going away for literally three weeks 18 days so uh, I needed to do some work because I'm currently doing honors and, and if anyone else is doing honors you will know that 
you are essentially employed by the university and, and you don't really get holiday you basically have to ask for leave I was also going in for a service so I just wanted to clean out my car for my mom beforehand just so that she doesn't have to worry about doing it and also so that I just know where all my things are. And then once all of that was off my conscience, it was time for me to actually pack my bags and I had to set aside clothes for my main luggage, for what I'm actually going to wear there when I'm actually on holiday and also what I'm going to carry on the plane with me in my little travel bag. And then for traveling I wanted to just do some self-care because my skin was not looking good I was completely stressed out so I just needed to do some self-care I did my nails and I did a face mask because my skin was looking really bad and I just needed something to fix my skin so I'm using this detox mask from Garnier so hopefully this will fix my skin <laughs> please fix my skin <laughs> and then last but definitely definitely not least it was time to spend some quality time with my family and my dogs because I am going to miss them all so so much even my dragons i'm gonna miss them just look at these little babies just look at this little baby like corona for who brother i am prepared i even have a bunch of surgical masks for us to wear you know, I'm just taking every precaution necessary. Obviously, it's better, it is better for infected people to wear the mask, but I just know that in South Africa, people who are infected, they're like gonna be stubborn. They're not going to, you know, go to the doctor and get checked. They're just gonna live their life and not wear a mask and just splatter all over other people. So at least this way I know my breathing air will be safe. <laughs> And then once all of that was out of the way, all that was essentially left for me to do was to go to the airport and get on the plane. That's my kind of shop. <laughs> 